losses and kind of the kind of the way you guys won come from behind on Saturday and a huge win on Sunday? Well, a lot of good things happened on the weekend. You know, we were able to win a, win a one-run ball game, win an extra inning ball game. Uh, had some pleasant surprises out of the bullpen. Uh, so, you know, we're still a work in progress as long as we continue to get better. Uh, that's all you can ask. And we'll have a, a tough challenge this, this weekend against two premier programs, you know, UCLA out, out in the West and Michigan, one of the better programs, 39 wins last year. So uh, we'll have our hands full. But it'll give us, it'll be a good measuring stick for us at an early part of the season. Yeah, it's super weird. Uh, Monday or Friday, Sunday, UCLA, and, and then you huck in a game in Michigan. Yeah. Um, uh, it, does that kind of mess with your lineup a little bit? Is that something you, you wanted? Was that just kind of a favor you did to them? Or No, I uh, got a, a call late in the summer, and, and Michigan was out here on a West Coast swing, and uh, they weren't scheduled to play on Saturday, and just asked me if we could fit them in. I said, sure. And, uh, you know, it's probably not the, the smart thing to do, but, you know, we want to play – Anybody and everybody, I don't think Cal Poly's ever played in the University of Michigan, so it's a, it'd be a good test for us. And, you know, to have UCLA there on that, that weekend, it's, it'll be four very competitive games. Yeah, talk about UCLA and, and, and kind of this uh, kind of schedule early on. Is, is, is it a, I mean, Claire talks about it all the time, how you want to match up against, you know, big name schools, name schools, so, so you guys can really get some, uh, get some experience before conference. Yeah, I mean, if at all possible, you want to try to uh, have as difficult of a non-conference schedule as possible, whether it's at home or on the road. I think UCLA, I think we're in it for the next four years with, with them, and um, you know, we've had some very strong non-conference schedules uh, in the past. So, you know, you, you'd like to come out uh, on the winning end, but it does prepare you for, for conference play in the Big West. Now, uh, Kyle was the only one to throw the complete game uh, this weekend. Is that something you wanted uh, for him on Friday night and then Saturday, Sunday, did you want to throw in the bullpen, mix up, mix it up as much as you can? You know, I mean, yeah, it, it worked out great. It's, it's more of a, of a pitch count deal. And, and uh, uh, after going through what we did this weekend, four games in three days, and having to use our bullpen quite a bit, it gives us a little bit of, uh, better idea of, of what to expect out of them. and. Uh, it'll be very similar, just with uh, you know two tougher opponents with UCLA and, and Michigan. So um, uh, again, it's a start. We had a lot of questions answered. Now, now we get to see if we can uh, have the same type of performances uh, against better quality opponents. Yeah, you, you you just mentioned some questions answered. What what questions? Well, I, you know, we, a lot of question marks on our pitching staff, especially in the bullpen. We we had struggled uh, with our inner squads and had given up a lot of runs. And a lot of times, you're not quite sure what you have in an inner squad uh, because their your hitters are facing the same pitchers, you know, week in and week out. So um, we we had three good starts out of Kyle Smith, uh, Eric uh, Allman. Uh, and Slater Lee, and then we had some good performances out of the bullpen with uh, Don Neville and uh, Bernstein uh, and, and two or three other other guys. And so that's you know at one time w what we had perceived to be some of our weakness of our, our team, and and now it looks like we have some options. Excellent. So talk about the first four victories. A lot of. Questions answered, some pleasant surprises, especially out of the pitching staff end of it, especially out of the bullpen. So three of our four starters threw extremely well, and, and probably four or five bullpen guys, you know, threw quite well. And we didn't really have an idea of what we had, and now that's a good first test. But now we have to step up our game even more because it's UCLA and Michigan, and you're talking about two premier programs in the country. and. Uh, Offensively, a number of guys did fairly well. We played pretty good defense. Probably need to be a little bit stronger in the latter half of our offensive lineup. But uh, a couple freshmen really stood out. Alex McKenna was Big West Player of the Week. Um, uh, Nick Meyer, after one weekend, he he's, might be our smartest catcher I've ever had in 30 plus years of coaching. And really understands the game. He's a winner and uh, he's 
you know, we're starting to get really strong up the middle with some young guys. You have Maricons, who's a freshman at second base. So three of our four guys up the middle are freshmen, and so that, that speaks well for the future. UCLA looked pretty young, too. They got a lot of freshmen. Yeah, we just started getting their, their scouting reports. They play Long Beach State tonight, so we'll, we'll dive into it a little bit more. Just went over, looked over the Michigan scouting uh, this morning. So um, luckily that we don't have a, a Tuesday game, so it'll give us a little, an extra day of practice and a little bit more uh, time to prepare. Plus, playing a four games on a weekend is pretty, you know, you, your, your players get banged up uh, physically and mentally. So. Uh, but now we got a chance to do it all over again this weekend. Two players I saw when I looked through UCLA's roster. One, uh, Tucker Forbes. I guess he played with the San Luis Blues, but he's six foot eight yeah. and was the Monterey County Player of the Year. I guess a pretty good closer. Yeah, he, he's he's uh, starting tonight against Long Beach State, so he's their their, their week midweek starter. Okay. Yeah. And another guy, Justin Hooper, out of De La Salle, that yeah. was the number one player in in the graduating class in high schools. Yeah. 6'5", 230, left-hander, sounds like he's pretty good. Yeah, I think he might have gotten an inning appearance, uh, very limited. So usually a, you know, a program like UCLA, they, they recruit better than anybody on the West Coast, and that means their uh, upperclassmen are good too. So sometimes it, for some of the freshmen it takes uh, a, a while to, to get in the mix, and there's some position players in the same boat. So. I mean, we recruited all the players that they they recruited, and they just happened to uh, get the majority of them. So, what are your expectations for this weekend? What do you want to accomplish? Uh, just continue to get better as a team. Um, you know, all facets with with offense, defense, base running, uh, starting pitching out of the bullpen. I mean, it's it's never ending. We need to continue to get better and play our our best baseball uh, as the season progresses and. It's really important for us being Cal Poly and always thought of as a, a bubble team to win every game. And so our, our first, second, third game of the year is just as important as our you know, 54th, 55th, 56th game of the year. So we just want to rack up as many wins as possible, try to get as many games over 500 as possible, and uh, hopefully make each, each uh, upcoming game and upcoming series relevant for us and keep us in the mix.